Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and if you are new here, thank you for choosing to watch today's video. And whether it was the title or the thumbnail, I am hoping you are going to enjoy today's content. And of course, if you're coming back as a subscriber, hey, I hope you are well. Thank you as always for coming back. I hope you've been good. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video too. For all of you, you know I'm already gonna say, because as Tesco would say, every little helps. I don't even know if I can say that. But I say that to say we are on the road to 10K and I would love if you do enjoy today's video to thumbs up and subscribe, please. I post Sunday 7 p.m. every single week. So hopefully, even if it's not today's video, there might be something else that you like. But if you do genuinely enjoy the content, and enjoy the vibe, please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe before you move on. Now, to try and keep this short and sweet, as you can see by the title of today's video, we are doing, I don't know if I can call it a come pack with me, but I'll probably have titled it something appropriate. With that said, I'm going to Barbados, my first and only trip in 2021, and my first trip in almost a year now. Yeah, crazy. And I say that because I'm definitely someone who loves traveling and really just appreciates the ability to be able to travel so i have missed it and i have not wanted to hold back since this is going to be my trip of the year and yes i left it to the penultimate month but here we are so with that being said i wanted to show you guys what i'll be packing in my checked in suitcase um all the outfits that i intend to wear i have definitely packed some duplicates because i want to live it up and give energy and vibes so with that being said some of these are new in items um so i will show you guys that as well with all the links below some of these are a bit older or items i've shown you in previous hauls but with that being said i just wanted you guys to see what i have packed in my suitcase it has been a bit harder because of course we are in autumn winter here in the uk so shopping for essentially summer or somewhere hot has been a little difficult but i think i've managed to do okay now with that being said it is a mix i don't really have an idea or vision but it gives you an idea of what is in my suitcase as well as what i would have worn on the trip i say that because i would have been and come back by the time you see this video so hopefully i'll actually have maybe another video or so for you guys to see if you want to see a vlog let me know i'm sure i would have put some content together um but yeah with that being said let's get into the video also while we're at it this is not sponsored or anything but this suitcase is actually from argos i usually get my suitcases from primark but they didn't have any larger ones uh this time around when i went in so i did buy a hand luggage from them but this suitcase is from argos really really inexpensive i think it was like 40 pounds for this size um but yeah feels really good i do prefer hard shell suitcases but this one has a bit of like flexibility to it so hopefully when they're throwing it around and about, it doesn't crack or just get completely destroyed. But so far, so good. And I love the inside compartment as well. Okay, guys. So as you can imagine, this is a very different video for me to record. But hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I'm going to try not to take too long as I talk through these items. So I'm just going to try and blitz through them. Um, what I should also do is actually show you what the suitcase looks like. So you have an idea of how I've packed. So I'll probably be doing a car away of that just now whilst you're listening to this part. But I am going for six days or so. So a quite, quite a short trip for uh, essentially a long haul flight. But your girl just did what she could do and what she could fit in. So with that being said, outfit wise, I've definitely tried to keep it to about two to three outfits per day. Um, obviously, some items I will mix and match, but... That is what I'm thinking so far. The first things I'll start with are actually the bikinis, just because a lot of these are older, but um, majority of them are PLT. So if one way or another, you should be able to find dupes. So I've just got this black set here, which is super, super cute. Um, I appreciate guys, this is obviously not a try on, but hopefully, as I said, there will be some content to show you. So then they come with these bottoms as well. So that is that first set. This set I absolutely love. I picked this up from Primark maybe like three years ago now. It's this lovely sort of padded bra. Love it. And another thing I really prefer when it comes to bikinis are bottoms that you can tie on the sides. Because of my body shape, I do find it hard to buy bikinis that are like same size top and bottom. So when it does have the adjustable sides, it just makes life so much easier for me. This one really has this nice like scallop detail um, across as well. So super, super cute. So that is those two sets. And then of course we are gonna be in sunny Barbados. So we need to have some color in the bikinis too. So I've got this first set again. This still has the tag on. This is from Primark and it is this bando set um, with the matching bottoms. Now, as I said, I do typically prefer when the bottoms are a tie waist. 
This is in this beautiful sort of like ribbed, um, almost like burnt orange or burnt yellow color. Super, super nice. And like I said, it's because you know we're trying to let the melanin show. Then I have this neutral set. Again, I'm just blitzing through these because I know a lot of these you can't actually, um, I can't link the exact ones. So this is a tie waist. Love the print and detail on that. And then it comes with the matching bra as well. And what I really like about this one is actually it has the beading in the middle just there. Hoping you guys can see that. It's got the beading just there, so matching bra. I had to have at least one neutral. And then uh, last but not least, I've got these two sets, which are, you can see I'm low key trying to like repack while I show you guys, cause I don't wanna have to do it again. Um, this set is from PLT. I'm so sure they should still have something like this. Red bra with the tie waist bikini bottoms, super cute. Um, for the most part, I pick up my bottoms in a 10 and I pick up the tops in a six or an eight. A six can be a bit small, but it depends on the style. So those are the sizes I would usually go for. If they are the bottoms without the tie waist, then I'll probably go for a 12 on the bottom just to be safe. Um, so yeah, that's usually what I wear. And then this green set is just a bit of a. This again is from PLT. So again, I've picked up bottoms in a size 10. I love this like ring detail that it has there. Super cute. And then this top, I'm so sure does not fit me. Like I'm so sure the top does not fit me anymore, but it is just this cute little top. Next few things I wanna show you are items that I think you can actually still get. Um, so these are predominantly Zara items. So the first one I actually showed you this recently in my brown edit are these trousers. I cannot remember the price for the life of me, but they are these trousers just here. So they were the long, uh, the full length long trousers. The only reason I took these is because when I was looking through my suitcase, essentially, I acknowledged that I didn't have um, trousers. And you know, the last thing you want to do is like go on holiday and not have something that you need. So I put these in there just because they're neutral. They're quite lightweight. They kind of have like that linen-y sort of material and feel. Um, so that's why I put those. This dress, $19.99, I'm pretty sure it went down on offer. Maybe I'm wrong. And you guys would have seen this dress ages ago, actually, I think in my pink edit. Um, super cute dress. It has like a nice scoop low back, um, midi length, really nice, that sort of like jacquard material. And then it's got the split at the back as well. Now holding this, this is probably gonna be a dress I'll wear in the evening because it is a little thicker. Just thought it'd be a really, really cute piece to have. So that's what I'm gonna hopefully wear that or where I'm gonna wear that. Next two items to show you guys is this corset, which again, I have shown you guys, 19.99 size medium from Zara. I love this because it has this sort of like tweed effect and it's got the blue and the green and the cream sort of ecru background to it with a little bit of boning. Although they may not have this one, they definitely have quite a few corset style or like tops with like corsetry on it. So super cute. And then I paired them with these PLT shorts. So yes, I intend to pair these shorts with the corset top. These are from the shape um, range on PLT, just because they fit the waist really, really nice. They have a good amount of stretch and they fit my thighs well as well. So I picked these up in a size 12. They are this nice sort of like light blue wash. And again, of course, as denim shorts, I can pair this with other tops that I may have in this suitcase. Next outfit to show you guys are two outfits I or two items I haven't even been able to wear over this year. I bought them, never got around to wearing them. This, I'm sure you guys that were shopping on Zara have seen this print. I've seen it quite a few times. It was an original, uh, originally a co-ord set. So I picked up the top in a small, it is this beautiful yellow sort of leaf um, printed crop top. Again, I won't even linger on this item too much because I know this is quite old now by Zara terms anyway. But super cute. I didn't get to wear it over the summer in the UK. So I was like, do you know what? As soon as I recognized and found out that I was traveling, I said, I will wear it abroad. Similarly, with these linen style H&M shorts, these are super, super cute. Come with pockets, um, great shape, loose and free. I do wish I got these in like a beige or a stony color. Um, but I like the fact that the black goes with the black sort of uh, print on the top as well. So that's why I paired those together. Just for those days where it's like, I want to look cute, but I'm kind of lounging. Um, I'll definitely just pair all of these outfits with like sandals and stuff. 
$29.99. It's this printed, beautiful sort of silk satiny dress from Zara. Four sort of maxi lengths. Really, really cute and flowy. Then it kind of has like a split at the bottom there. This one is quite nice. I did have to get a large though because it is very unforgiving shape wise. And then as you can see, it just has like the triangle front. So I basically intend to wear this on those days or on that day where it's like hot. Don't really want to wear too much. Maybe we're just going for lunch or we've just come back from an excursion. Um, that was kind of my idea for the dress because as you remember, I also picked up the trouser version, which again, I think will look really nice. as like an evening outfit maybe. Um, not too thick, but it is that sort of silk satiny material. So you do have to be a bit weary of when you get hot, it kind of clinging to your skin. In a size large, $25.99, and they were the trouser version of the dress. I know, usually I do not pick up two items of the same print, but I really like this one. So that was my reason for doing that. And as I said, I do like to pack my items in outfits. So with the trousers, I was thinking I could wear this amazing top. I love this top so much. Showed you recently in my brown edit. I have it in green as well. And it's this sort of like cow neck draped uh, top. It's not really a crop top, but it does fit really, really well on the body. And it kind of just stops right on your uh, belt line, would I say. This, um, as you can see, is in a beautiful chocolate brown in a size small, $14.99. They have it in green as well. And I have both of them because they are so nice as like an item to layer. Or of course, when I wear the guest birth to wear it by itself. So... That is what I will wear with these trousers and I love it because you've got the browns in there that kind of go quite well. So that was my intention with these two. Next items, I am so happy I actually went back to pick these up. Um, this is something I definitely saw over the summer period, but I was kind of like, do you know what? I've got a top like that looks like this already. Probably don't need another one. But when I was looking through my suitcase, I was like, I don't really have any outfits that are like, oh yes, you're on holiday. So. Say that to say, I did recently just pick this up, even though it is quite old on the website. Picked up the top in a size small and it was $17.99. And I picked up the bottoms in a size medium. No, size small as well, $27.99. I'll show you the top first. It is this beautiful crochet top. As you can see, it's got the black, the pink, the orange, and the blue, of course, running through it. And it is a complete open back. So as you can see, this is, that's it. So it goes around your neck as like a halter neck and then you tie it to the back. It is so, so, so flattering. And then the skirt, I love the fact that the skirt has a lining underneath. So you don't need to worry about it being see-through. Like I said, in a size small, $27.99. And it is kind of like a midi length, which again, I love. You can see obviously it's a co-ord set, so it goes perfectly with the top as well. And it's kind of got all those colors running through it. Now, I actually really like the skirt by itself as well, because if you were to find a top in the same sort of like periwinkle blue color, I think it would look really nice just like tucked in, like maybe a bodysuit or a crop top, something that's like flush against the body that still gives you that silhouette. I think it would be cute, but these together, you will see a picture on Instagram. If you don't follow me, the link is below. It's Rachel AS underscore on Instagram. So yeah, be sure to check me out there as well. Just as a last uh, little piece on what else is in the suitcase, I know I showed you the top section. So I have my medicine bag where I have all my painkillers, um, anything sort of like pharmaceutical or health related, I've got in my bag. I've got my makeup bag, my shoes, my toiletries, as well as my jewelry and my sunglasses. So that's all in that top section. Again, if you do wanna see like a dedicated video to what is in my suitcase or how I pack for holidays, do let me know and I'll be more than happy to record that for you guys. Now, with that being said, I'm still on my floor. Some last items that I wanted to show you guys are other things that I picked up with the intention for to wear on the holiday, but maybe didn't fit or look as good. First thing I picked up were these shorts in a size large. They were $19.99. And these are kind of like the short versions of those infamous trousers, like the carrot sort of tailored trousers that Zara have. I'll come up a bit closer. I know it messed up the lighting, but just so you can see. These actually come in more like a denim material. Really, really weird. I didn't expect it, nor did I, I don't think I've read anything that basically said it would be a different uh, material to the trouser version. With that being said, um, no reason for me essentially returning these other than I just didn't think it really matched with anything else that I wanted to wear. They are really good quality though. Like they're a great thickness. Like I said, they're more of a denim sort of feel. 
and I actually really liked how the trousers fit and feel so I think I was leaning towards more that material than denim but if anything $19.99 definitely fits really well um, what I'll try and do is some of these items that are newer in I will try and do cutaways if you don't see cutaways it just means maybe there's another video coming where I will show you what these items and outfits look on or look like on should I say but yeah that was the first item then another thing I picked up uh, was this score uh, so $19.99 I picked up in a medium so of course if you're not familiar with the score it's basically skirt and shorts uh, as a two-in-one I thought this was really really cute um, in this daisy sort of print so you've got the black with the white sort of daisy print love this sort of like ruffle and frill at the bottom and then it has a tie waist as well and it zips up at the side uh with regards to the score don't know how well you can see that but you do have this area here which is essentially the shorts now for a medium they're actually okay but i think i would do better with a large so i have uh purchased a large hopefully it fits better um, so I'll hold on to these before I return it just to see which one I'm more comfortable in. But these are fine, like I can move around, I can bend, um, they're okay on the waist, but I think if they were a little looser, I think they would be a bit more flattering. So that was the next item. This next item was a complete bust and I don't know what material or quality, I don't know what this is. Uh, it's a skirt that I picked up in a size medium, $27.99. It's supposed to be a sarong style skirt. Guys, I can't even, I like, I, it's such strong no for me. I don't even know how to hold it up. I don't know what, like, it looks like it's washed out. It looks just really poor, like, poor material. The pattern doesn't stand out. Like, yeah, I'm not even gonna talk about it too much just know that it's a no from me i would not recommend um i like the pattern but everything else was just a big no so that was that and then last but not least the last two items i picked up were 5.99 and i picked them up both up in a size small and they are these sort of like bandeau bralettes so i picked up in this pinky beige color as well as black um again with the intentions of matching them with some of my trousers or just in case i want to wear them with shorts um, those days where you're on holiday and you don't really want to dress up, but of course you need to put something on. I thought these would be great. Only thing I would say is I'm a UK size 8 on top and 10 at the bottom. And these run quite small. They are stretchy, but it kind of has like a seam along that top part that makes it a bit restricted. So again, similar to the score, I have sized up with these and I've ordered a medium instead. Hoping that they fit a bit better, so I will let you know in the description box below what I recommend or what I think would work for you if you are similar bust or top size to me as well. So guys, like I said, that was a very, very different video for me to do, but I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, I've still got a few days before I go, but like I said, you, I would have really been and come back by the time that you see this video. So what I might do is like an updated version of what I actually wore, then I can have some like pictures and other stuff to show alongside that as well. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm hoping you guys are well. Anyone around this Thanksgiving and sort of festive period. I hope you are well and with your loved ones and just feeling good about life. Um, but yes, thank you for watching. Sunday 7pm you can catch me in my next video. I will hope to catch you guys there. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like it. Um, but until then, stay well, stay blessed. Good vibes only and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!